Hi guys, Nick Davis, creator of the BLAST technique, uh, which is a technique that we use uh, several different modalities in order to bilaterally stimulate and uh, analyze and stimulate traumas, PTSD, um, anxiety, stresses, and things like that in order to remove any emotional um, charge to them so that you can live in peace and they just be uh, behave like a normal past memory so you can still remember what happened but like a distant memory it doesn't have any um, effect on you today now i'm also um, conscious of certain people who can't forward therapy or can't get it for whatever reason so i'm committed to doing uh, lots and lots of different things so today is um, to give you a technique that i created called the blast like psychosensory self-care protocol which is great for things like stress anxiety low mood <clears throat> basically changing any feelings where you don't feel that great but especially with things like stress or frustration and one of the reasons that i do this um, i try and give out as much as i can so if you want more free stuff go to uh, www.ndhypnotherapy.wordpress.com there's probably about a thousand posts on there i write for the media regularly i've got I've done about 250 articles in the media um, on the radio on tv and stuff like that in the last two years um, so i'm trying to get as much stuff out there if i can if free to help all those people who are suffering on lockdown with coronavirus anxiety and things like that and i've been very fortunate to be able to do my own pr and, and, and reach that many people so this is why i'm trying to do this for those people who can't get access to um, having one-to-one -one therapy so if you're one of those people that's struggling at the moment um, you can get the free handout at the uh, website that I told you earlier. Um, just look up for um, BLAST, click on uh, the, the, the sidebar. When it says BLAST technique, it will take you to all the, um, the write-ups about BLAST. There's another tapping protocol there, and you can actually see the video and download the, the form for yourself. So the first thing you do is you um, analyse what it is you're feeling at the present moment. So are you feeling stressed? Are you feeling anxious? Is it a low mood? And you take, you take an opportunity to recognise how you feel within your body. So sometimes our minds take over control, you know, and having uh, suffered with anxiety and panic attacks is absolutely horrible. I know that I wish I'd access, I had access to all the stuff I've created now. Um, also, if you are suffering with anxiety, look up the Lima protocol. Do a search Lima protocol, Nick Davis with an E. Um, that's a really good, great technique for um, helping with anxiety. So the first thing you do is um, assess how you're feeling between 0 and 10. So 0 is uh, no negative sensations at all. 10 is the worst you've ever felt. So where are you on that spectrum? And we'll write that down. Identify what it is you're feeling. You know, is it stress? Is it anxiety? Is it low mood? Is it frustration? Is it loneliness? Whatever. Then give it a number between 0 and 10. Where do you feel it in your body? And then sit back in a comfortable chair. Make sure you've got your feet flat on the floor, your hands on your lap, and you, your head back. It's really, really important that you relax when you do this process. Um, and then you might find that when you relax, that number between 0 and 10 goes up. So you need to get that as high as you can. Make the, the feelings, the sensations as high as you can for this to work really, really well. And then just be aware of your emotions and the feelings uh, during the process. Don't force them in, don't push them out. Just let them in. Um, so the first thing you do is we um, stroke above our eyebrows and we're working on the sinuses here, but we're also bilaterally stimulating nerve endings from the brain. The biggest clusters of nerve endings from the brain are from the top of the head. So top of the forehead here to the top of the chest. So we're stimulating those, but also massaging the sinuses. So we do this, that's it, for 20 times. So you just keep moving that out, just nice and relaxed. Not too much pressure, not too light, not too hard. Just how you like it, that's the important thing. Somebody said, how hard? I said, it's like a massage, you know, it's up to you. How hard do you like it? How soft do you like it? And the next thing, oh, I've got to keep my glasses on because I'm, I'm quite short-sighted now. I need them for reading. So just stroking under your eyes. And, and where the bags come under your eyes, just stroke in there. That's it, 20 times. And again, you just stroke in those areas where tiredness builds up around the eyes and may find the tension just moving away your eyesight becoming a bit better sometimes it can make you feel more tired if it does that means your energy depleted you need more rest so as you do that just being aware of whatever it is you're feeling and stroking those areas that's it 
sure I'm going to up to now. Now it says on the um, on the handouts, doing it ten times. But if you're suffering more badly, I tend to double the number for the first set because you can keep going through. So for the first set, double the number on there um, if it's particularly bad. If not, you can just do ten times. So I'm going for double. Okie dokie. Now the next time what we do is we circle the temples. Now ideally I'd take my glasses off for this, but I'm just uh, I can't see the screen or what I'm reading in front of me. So just forwards uh, 10 times for this is five times if it's not too bad. And then backwards five times or 10 times, depending on the severity of what you feel. And you notice this is where we create tension as well around here. So we're specifically targeting those areas where you feel the most tension. Now what we do is we, <coughs> we're stroking our neck from the back and one hand goes above so obviously 10 times if it's bad five times if it's not so bad and as you're stroking the back of the neck this is where we carry all that tension so when you're halfway through swap the hands over so the other one goes on top and the other one goes under and then you've got a full range of massage for the back of your neck freeing up all the tension in the muscles the uh, the tendons and all the, the pathways where your blood goes in and gets stiff and it creates all that stiffness for us Okay, cool. So when you've done that, 10 times either side or five times if it's not so bad. Now the other thing we do when we're stressed or anxious, we go feet or we close our body down. And this is a bad thing because what we do is that, that activates the sympathetic nervous system, which is fight, flight or freeze. So when, when danger's gone, we tend to open our chest and breathe more deeply, more diaphragmatically. So for this one, what you do is one hand going across the top. So here. I'm going to open my chest every time I breathe. I breathe in and I open my chest. But I'm stroking here because these are the major nerve endings from the brain because we're trying to stimulate both hemispheres of the brain whilst giving ourselves that massage and that muscle movement to, to really open our body up. That's it. And then swap over so the other arm goes on top. That's it. So five either side if it's not too severe, ten if it is. But really open the chest up so feel it and then... Breathe in to really open the chest up. Then once we've done that, keep your head still, still feeling whatever it is you're feeling. And with 10 times either side, we're moving our eyes. So you don't need to double up on this one, just do 10 every time. <clears throat> so you move your eyes all the way left, all the way right. Now all the way left, all the way right, all the way left, all the way right. Keep moving your eyes like that. That's it, that's five times either side, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what you do is you take a nice deep breath in, and in your mind you say to yourself, I'm okay. As you breathe out, just in your mind. So a nice diaphragmatic breath, breathe in, I'm okay. And then what you do is you assess how you now feel between naught and ten. So let's assume you started off at a 10, you were the worst, and then you're now at a five or whatever else, you go through again. You can do the normal levels, you know, which is 10 times either side, uh, sorry, 10 times. Um, or if it's still really bad, you know, do the t t double it, do the 20. But keep going through, and literally, like we've been doing it for about seven, eight minutes, you'll find you just bringing all those, those changes into your body, activating the parasympathetic nervous system, which is where the body goes back into balance. We start to produce calming chemicals. It's flushing out um, adrenaline, uh, cortisol. It's flushing out that noradrenaline we have in our mind that makes us like this so sharp. Um, and just allowing you to feel more calmness and peace. So I hope you've enjoyed the uh, kind of practical video here today. Um, honestly, please feel free to like, subscribe and share. And when I say share it, share it with anyone you think it will benefit. I'm just trying to create some free resources for people out there. Just get them out there. So if people are struggling, please do share them with us. You don't need the printed handout. Um, if you want me to send you a copy, just email me at info at blast-technique.com and I'll, I'll fire you one off by email. Um, but please do, please do use it. Don't suffer in silence. I'm trying to create these techniques so that people can just fire into YouTube and <clears throat> or um, ndhypnotherapy.wordpress.com and just use it themselves. My YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash ndhypnotherapy, um, but feel free to share it with anyone you like that you think would uh, benefit. Okay guys, hope you're well. I'll speak to you soon, but stay safe and stay well.